Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers. And this is going to be for the week of the 16th through the 22nd of April. I will be using my angel tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using the Art of Adventure tarot deck. Cancer, let's see. What messages we have for you? And for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Michelle and welcome. And thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please take what resonates and please leave what doesn't. So Cancer, this is for you. The Six of Water. Memories from your past. Romanticizing about the past. The Emperor. You're very structured and disciplined. The Nine of Earth. Successful employment. The four of earth. Making good business decisions. Or maybe you're holding too tightly to the money you have or to someone. Or maybe you're spending the money too easily. The two of fire. New partnerships or contracts. And things continue to progress. The page of water. Possible new person enters your life, but you're also very intuitive. So you need to start listening to yourself. And if you're in a relationship, the relationship you're in will begin a new phase, will move to a new phase. Life experience, a significant life event. A powerful revelation that will lead to change. It's time to spread your wings. The night of earth. It says time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. And you have a guardian angel. We all do. The six of earth. Gifts of money for your time and effort. Financially balanced. Okay, so let's see. The six of water. The Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. And the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, a fire energy in your environment. You're probably remembering when things were nice and fresh and everything. Now things are just going along. But you're planning something. And the emperor, 
I would say Aries. Maybe that's the fire energy. And this person makes you feel. Now, this is an older person than you. They have their own. They're stable financially and emotionally. I'm thinking the emperor. Um, but yet on top of that comes the five of, five of pentacles with a new beginning. So maybe something about this energy, this knight of wands, the king of wands, I mean, made you have a feeling of lack, but it was just temporary. And now you have a new beginning. Now, this is past energy here. So, you know, things are changing. Or it could, you know, possibly be about, you know, it could be happening right now. But that's supposed to be past energy. However, it resonates. So, on top of the nine of earth. So, you're reaping your rewards. I got the lovers here. But yet you're thinking about breaking up. Why? I got the Eight of Cups and the Lovers. Is it because now you're a little bit more stable? You're trying, you know, you're feeling like, you know what? I don't know if this is right for me. If this is the situation. But there's a new beginning coming or maybe the love will be rekindled. Never know until you try. So the four earth, on top of the four earth comes the magician and the world. Darlings, anything you touch, I don't know why my head's itching. Anything you touch is magical. And whatever it was that you set out to get done, you have achieved. Something came full circle for you. And it was successful. And with that, you came into your own. With new partnerships or maybe a contract. Could have been a job or something. And then I got the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. This could be a contract that you came into. But why are you thinking negatively about it? It's a new partnership or a new something. Maybe you're expecting the worst. Don't do that to yourself. The Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. Okay. And the Page of Waters. Use your intuition. A new person enters your life, okay? Now, this could be the contract, the new city, it could be a new situation. But you need to start trusting yourself. And the relationship you're in might be going to a new phase. I got the Ace of Wands, which is new beginnings, and I got the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> new beginnings, this could be fertility, opportunities. The Ace of Pentacles, a new career, promotion, a new job, some coming into some money, starting your own business, something, and life experience. I got the Nine of Cups, your wishes come true. You just need to keep the faith and believe in yourself. Everything will work out. That was the Nine of Cups and the Star card. And then we got the Knight of Earth. You need to buckle down and start to get things done. You need to get things done and honor your commitments. 
You're loyal and dedicated regardless. And you also need to get out of the past and don't have conflict with anyone. Be the bigger person, don't argue. I do see that um, there might be some deep wounds from the past. I got the Ten of Swords or the relationship, you know, hit rock bottom. It could be past that you're the past that you're holding on to, expecting the worst, and then having conflict. And this conflict could be within. And it also could be out, you know, in with someone else in your environment. But you have the choice. You got the six of earth here. You got balance. You got the seven of um, pentacles and the three of wands. So... You're working hard at whatever it is you're doing. So stop the conflict. If you have something you need to go and look at in the past, go heal from it. Don't bring the past into the present. Leave it right where it, need, where it needs to be in. Let it go. Heal. Face it as traumatic, painful, or whatever it is. Face it. Start healing. Start feeling good. Start feeling balanced. And you're waiting. And you're longing. And things are progressing. And you're planning. So I got the seven of pentacles. And the three of wands. Above the six of earth. So I would say you're pretty balanced. I love you guys. You take care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.